All right, after much anticipation, I just got back from seeing Inside Out 2, and I have some thoughts. I will be spoiling a lot of the movie, so don't stick around if you don't like that. I want to start out with something I liked about the movie first. I really enjoyed the first 10 minutes of the movie. They went over what Riley has been through since we last seen her in the first movie, and I felt like it was emotional, it was kind of pure, and I, it was really beautiful. I really enjoyed that part. But the rest of the movie kind of doesn't work for me, and I I got a few nitpicks I want to go over. We briefly see the inside of Riley's parents' head in the movie, and neither of them have the puberty emotions. They all only have the five core emotions. There's a really brief after credit scene where the parents do have one puberty emotion, anxiety, but they don't have any of the other ones. Still, even in the after credits, they never bring up a back control room. They never explain where these emotions were hiding in Riley's head until puberty, and they never explain explain where they are in the parents' heads. At the end of the movie, Riley controls her anxiety, her embarrassment, by working together with it. They keep them in the main control room. This explanation implies that once you learn how to control your puberty emotions, they stay with you throughout your whole life and work in tandem with your core emotions. So why aren't they in the control room with the parents? And in regard to Riley learning to control her puberty emotions, she learned how to control them within two days. The whole movie takes place over two days, and she came to grips with her puberty that quickly, because by the end of the movie, she can perfectly handle all her new emotions. I think that's absolutely insane. And on the topic of emotions, the emotions themselves break character constantly in this movie, and the implications are insane. There's a point in the climax when Joy feels defeated and starts crying and gets really upset. So does this imply Joy also has five emotions in her head? Does this imply that Riley is just an emotion in someone else's head? Does the chain never end? If, if Joy can feel different emotions than just Joy, is she a living being trapped in Riley's head? And if she has her own emotions, do those emotions have emotions too? It completely just destroys everything. There's even parts in the movie where anger acts understanding and gentle and kind, and envy doesn't act envious, and embarrassment acts with bravery. None of them stick to their emotional archetype, and it kind of just ruins everything. I'm starting to think these are all just living beings with their own individual emotions stuck in Riley's head. Another thing I didn't like was changing Riley's voice actor. I feel like the original Riley had a deeper voice than the new one, and the new one's supposed to be older and going through puberty, so I feel like that doesn't really work. I feel like it was less offensive changing the voice actors of fear and disgust. I feel like that wasn't as noticeable, but Riley was very noticeable to me. And even though we see inside Riley's parents' head, and her friend's head for one single scene very shortly in the beginning of the movie. I feel like there is a massive lack of seeing inside outside people's heads in this movie. I feel like it would have benefited the movie to go explore other people's heads. There's also this part where 2D Blue's Clues ripoff character appears and starts hanging out with the emotions. I really dislike the way he looks. I feel like I just couldn't get into it. It was really bizarre looking. All things considered, it felt like I was really just watching an album hour and a half version of the trailer they released for this movie. It felt like not a lot happened that surprised me. It felt like almost all of it was predictable from all the marketing released, and I really wanted to be more surprised and wowed by this movie. I think the first Inside Out is a borderline masterpiece, so I left the theater disappointed, and I want it to be not disappointed, so I'm a little let down. I'm sure your mileage may vary, and some people may like it, but I just didn't like it nearly as much as the first one. Alright, thanks for listening.